Hey guys, Jess here. I have a new video today. It is a Dollar Tree uh, haul video, I guess you want to call it. But more or less, um, what I did was I have seen a lot of raves about Dollar Tree's craft section uh, lately, so I decided to go and check it out for myself. Um, and I've also got to thinking about, you know, organizing, you know, because that's kind of my thing a jam um, and how you could uh, utilize Dollar Tree in helping you stay organized in your craft room on on a low budget or a tight budget um, so I was pleasantly surprised when I went to Dollar Tree recently uh, their craft section is definitely improved um, there are some really great products there right now um, and again they're only a dollar um, but definitely worth purchasing. And then I also have some storage solutions I wanted to share with you as well that I discovered. And I hope, uh, the goal of this video is just to share some products and some ideas with you in hopes that it might help you find the right solution for your budget. So we are going to dive in to all the stuff I found um, while on my little adventure. So I did, um, take some time to do a little uh, video of the crafty section in my local Dollar Tree as well as some of the storage containers. I will post them here right now so you can see my my trip I made. Um, and from what I understand is that there are uh, some Dollar Trees that um, have a, a better section. I guess it depends on the size of your Dollar Tree. I did go to um, actually one more Dollar Tree and it didn't have nearly the craft supplies that my local one did. So <clears throat> I think it depends. So you definitely want to check uh, your Dollar Tree in your area and they're kind of uh, quite a few usually in a five to ten mile radius. <laughs> so uh, you might want to check a couple Dollar Trees or give them a call ahead of time to see if they're carrying these products. But uh, at, the, at my local one, I found a pretty good selection. They're definitely stepping up their craft section. So I'm gonna start, th start there and show you the supplies I found and uh, we'll go from there. So first and foremost, I am gonna share with you uh, adhesive tapes. Now I use, I, this is the only place I'll buy my foam squares going forward, my mounting squares, um, because number one, they're a dollar, and number two, it works fantastic. So uh, to me, it's a win-win. So I wanted to share with you the couple of different um, packaging I f packages that I found at Dollar Tree that they essentially do the same thing. So the first one is this uh, super glue foam mounting tape. I use these all the time. They're fantastic. Uh, they work really well. They're nice and sticky. Um, and you will find this, or where I found these, was in the, uh, like, hardware section, you know, with nails and uh, 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 toolboxes and measuring tapes and all that. So that's what I, where I found these. These work great for adding a little dimension to your photos, um, and the adhesive's really good. Definitely worth buying. One dollar. And look at all those foam squares. It's a lot for a dollar. Um, and then they also come in, Jot makes their own uh, foam mounting tape. And it's essentially the same thing. Um, they're double-sided, sticky foam squares. And this I found in the, uh, school, like the school supply section odd place I know but I found them there um, and this is a little bit bigger roll as you can see um, I haven't used these ones I'm assuming they I don't know if they'll be as sticky as the super glue but add a little adhesive glue of your own and you're good to go I mean pre-cut adhesive foam doesn't get much better than that for a dollar so definitely worth picking up then we have the foam tape um, I have used a different brand from Dollar Tree. It works really, really well. Actually, the Crafter Square brand, which I'm going to show you here. So I'm assuming Jot, maybe they're doing a brand change and they're the same company. I'm not really sure, but this is a really nice size roll of foam tape. And again, it's a dollar, works really well. 
I mean, you can, again, I, I use this stuff all the time. I don't know about you. It just adds a little bit of dimension to your uh, photos or your embellishments. It's definitely worth it. And it's a lot more, inex it's a lot more inexpensive than, you know, buying those specialty foam squares and dots that you would at a craft store, you know, Michael's or something. The next purchase is um, double-sided tape. I've opened one up. I've already tested it out. I absolutely love it. It is nice and sticky and you get uh, a decent amount for a dollar. It's called um, Crafter Square and this is their new brand that they're carrying. Lots of different product in and uh, I am really pleased with the double-sided tape. I took it out, I tested it on um, some paper, I stuck it together and then tried peeling it apart and the paper stuck very very well, so well that it, it tore. And so what I've been doing is I've actually started using um, double-sided tape like on a roll like this and uh, glue rather than my tape runners just because I love my tape runners. Don't get me wrong, I use Tombow brand. I absolutely love them, but they're expensive. I think the best deal I can get is like uh, maybe a dollar eighty a refill, whereas you can buy double sided tape just like this for a dollar. Probably get twice the amount of the things mounted, twice the amount of tape on a single roll that you would a, a re, you know a tape runner. Now you know it is a little more manual. It's not as convenient, but it's really it's easy to, to lay down, and you pull the paper off. It's not that hard, and for saving some money it's definitely worth it, especially if you scrapbook as much as I do. Those tape runners get super expensive. And so this is a super affordable, very nice alternative, and you don't have to worry about your, whatever you stick down coming up. So again, double-sided tape, a dollar a roll, definitely worth it. As you can see, I bought three, because that's all that was there um, at my Dollar Tree. So, so worth it, a must buy in my opinion. Okay. Next we have um, a couple other supplies here. Eileen's Tacky Glue. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> um, let me get it up there so you can see it. This little bottle, it's not quite that little. I mean, you can see in my hand. It is three ounces. This glue is awesome. I really love it. Um, I use the, I buy a bottles of the quick dry version. Um, they actually sell it at Dollar General, believe it or not. Um, that's where I got my first bottle and I, I love it. But the original, this original tacky glue works just as good. It's just not quick dry. So it takes a little while, uh, a little while longer for this glue to dry, but it works absolutely incredible. And for a dollar, you can't beat it. I use this brand all the time, highly recommend it. Um, and again, I've been using a lot more glue and double-sided tape to lay down my items on my pages because uh, one, it's more affordable, and two, it sticks um, almost sometimes better than the, the Tombow runners. So um, I love it. I got my fineliner bottle, I fill it full of this, and I'm off, off to gluing down a bunch of embellishments and I don't have to worry about them falling off. So definitely uh, pick up some tacky glue. And this will last you a really long time. Oh, quite a while. So it, it's a dollar that will go a long way for sure. Next is Goo Gone. And if you guys haven't discovered Goo Gone, uh, just tell you that this stuff is incredible. Uh, anything sticky, uh, glue, adhesive labels, anything like that, this stuff will remove it uh, so, so easily without any residue left over. This little bottle here, as you can see, it is two ounces, um, was a dollar at Dollar Tree. So very worth it. You just should go get it. Removes gum, glue, sticky tape, anything messy and sticky on, on uh, lots of different materials. So even on your scrapbook paper, you have to do it uh, little dabbles at a time, like don't soak your paper in it, but um, definitely, definitely worth picking up, especially for a dollar. Another really great buy. Okay, and next I picked up a couple of bottles of glitter. How cute are those? It's fine glitter. It's the Crafter Square. 
I thought they were super cute. The bottles, they come in these, um, these little shaker spouts. How cute is that? Little containers. And I don't use a lot of glitter, but it's kind of nice to have every now and again when you're crafting. So, a dollar a piece, definitely worth it. I think. It's better than having little bags of glitter, which is what Dollar Tree used to sell. So, these are also really great. I only found this at one of the stores, not both. So, again, you have to, you know, check a few different stores sometimes to see if they carry these products. But, very excited about the glitter. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you all the cute little embellishments and stuff I found at Dollar Tree. So first I want to show you packets of sequins. How cute are these? I got blues and greens, pinks and purples, and reds and golds. A dollar a piece. How beautiful are those? I found a love for sequins. I make little shaker pockets in my layout or I glue them on um, as embellishments and I couldn't beat the price for a dollar. I mean, and you know, just totally worth having on hand. Super cute. Or even for kids crafts, you know, for a dollar you can't beat it, but really pretty. Very sparkly, very, very pretty. So I was really excited to find these. Then I found in the school section, pom-pom paper clips. How cute are those? I bought two packages because I love decorative paper clips. I add a lot to my layouts and these were too cute to pass up. A dollar package. These were in the school section. Can't beat it. I mean embellishments for a dollar. It's awesome. And these are super cute. They also had some planner stickers. This is like a washi sheet. How cute is that? And then I found these this cute little stickers for stationery or planner, but I'll use them on a layout too. How cute are those? So a dollar a piece. These are also hanging up in uh, like the little school section in my Dollar Tree. All right, and here's one of my favorites. Um, these are new stickers that have come out and I just found these to be so adorable. Um, great little embellishments on your layouts or your project life. They're just too cute. They're by Crafter Square. They're dimensional. Look how adorable those images are. The little mason jars and butterflies and flowers. Could you just imagine seeing those on the layout? And as you can see, they're dimensional. How cute. A dollar package. Really awesome. And they had one that was different beverages, coffee, wine, and we know we all make layouts with that stuff on it, right? Different cold drinks. So, so cute. I definitely um, think these will work for pocket life scrapbooking, for sure. They're just too cute. I got these ones for my son, um, cars and trucks. But I could add them to one of his layouts, too. I have a bunch of layouts where he uh, is playing with his toys. So I don't know, I might keep them for myself, but again, these are dimensional. How cute are they? And then, <laughs> I couldn't pass these up. These are little sloths. Look how cute they are. One in a little mug that says, uh, let's see, lazy day, take time to chill. One with a coffee cup. Look how cute those little sloths are. I have no idea what I'm gonna use them for, but they were just too adorable to pass up. Again, they're dimensional, super cute. And this was a fun one, pineapple. Look how fun that is. I love the word pineapple and then all the different little pineapples. You never know when you need a pineapple for a layout. You know, a nice fun summer one or Hawaiian luau layout. How cute would this be? I, I really enjoyed like the word pineapple though. That was my favorite. These are all dimensional. <clears throat> Then I found these clear foil stickers, again by the Crafter Square, and these are different sayings, awesome, happy, enjoy. They kind of have like this boy feel, rock, a little arrow. I thought they were really cute. Add them to a layout. Sorry, it was a little glare. 
And these are some foil Christmas bulbs. Again, I just thought they were really pretty and for a dollar you can't beat it. So I definitely, I haven't even scrapped any Christmas layouts yet. So I figured these would be a great add to one of them once I get to them. I am totally not a seasonal scrapper. I <laughs> literally scrap whatever mood I'm in and Christmas was really busy and I wasn't really in a Christmas layout scrapping mood so probably come July I'll feel like scrapping Christmas layouts because that's just how I roll. <laughs> but you know to eat your own right? And then I found uh, enamel dots. A rainbow assortment. Aren't those pretty? Look how they're a little sparkly. One dollar guys. I mean these normally at like your Michaels or Joann's would probably be three or four. Three or four dollars. And they're a nice size. They had some larger ones too. They were too big for me, but I like the size of these ones. And then they have these really pretty, I bought two of them, really pretty butterfly stickers. They say color me, so like you could color them, but honestly, I think they're pretty just the way they are. They have gold accents and they're white. They're just uh, really, really pretty. So I bought two. I couldn't pass them up. And then llamas seem to be like an in thing right now and I find llamas very cute. <laughs> so they have these cute dimensional llama stickers. Again, I'm not really sure where I would use them but I just they were really fun and whimsical and just adorable so I figured I'd buy them. I'll find somewhere to put them. Again, dimensional. So so cute and the quality is really nice. And then last but not least, one more dimensional sticker set. And this one um, was cute bicycle, florals, some balloons and sayings. So pretty, just so cute. Make perfect little accents to your layout. Wonderful embellishments, all for a dollar. Really can't beat it. So that was um, all the fun product I found. Um, at Dollar Tree. How awesome is that? Like I just, I mean I really think that's incredible. All the product that I got for very, you know, a dollar a piece. Saved a ton of money and got really, really cute stuff. So definitely worth checking out your local Dollar Tree for all of these supplies. Save yourself some money. It's really good stuff and I've, I've used it before. I've used their stickers before. I've used their tape. I've used their glue. So I can tell you from my personal experience these products work really, really well. So definitely worth the buy. All right, let's make some room here. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the um, storage options you have uh, at Dollar Tree. So the storage options I'm gonna show you, it's literally just some ideas um, and it's really, up, it's really up to you. It depends on the kind of space you have and the kind of storage you, you know, you prefer to use. So I'm just going to share with you items that I would use in my space um, and how I would use them just to give you some ideas. Again, each one of these containers were a dollar. You can't beat it. So it's a place to start. So if you're just starting to, you know, organize your craft room or, or getting started in your own craft room and you have a limited budget, these items may work for you. So I'm going to share them with you and I hope um, I give you some really good ideas. So first up are these little wire, they're called uh, organizer baskets. These little wire organizer baskets. Um, this one is about 12 inches long, the longer one, and these smaller ones are about 10 inches long. Now, these are perfect to go in a drawer. Um, you can organize your little embellishments or stickles in them. It fits nicely. Um, you could do paintbrushes or pens in there. Um, that would also work nicely. So that's a, a, the first option you could do for these. But what I thought would work really, really well for these is taking it a step further. So a lot of us have like wall space or um, 
you know, uh, a, a bookshelf with, you know, a blank side. So what I thought was you would take some command strips, hooks, you can buy these at the Dollar Tree, dollar package, although, you know, buying them at Walmart or somewhere like that, you might get more, more for your money. But I picked these up just to demonstrate. So you pick these up and you're actually going to stick these on your surface. So we're going to use this mat. Just pretend this is a wall, right? Pretend my mat is a wall. Stick these on your surface and then you're going to hang your a little more even hang your basket off of the hooks and then what you're gonna do so if you can see kind of what I'm talking about right so you got a functional hanging basket and then you can put your glitters or your pens or your pencils or your markers or whatever and you have it off your table you have it hanging on the wall you know all these different sizes look how cute that would be Right? I showed you, these are all my stickles. I fit them all in one of these containers. It's not too bad. That if it, The command strips are uh, two pound limit. This is definitely not two pounds. So look how cute that would be hanging on a wall and how functional would that be hanging on a wall. All your mixed media, paintbrushes, whatever your little heart desires. These are awesome storage units and they're a dollar a piece, command strips are a dollar, so you have a functional, you know, organized space that's off your desk, maybe on a wall or on the side of a cabinet for five dollars. I tell you what, a lot of people use like the fridge containers or, or stuff like that for your stickles and those are well over five dollars. So this is a really great option for very little money and it looks nice, like it looks nice. I would love to look at all my stickles like this. <clears throat> on a wall somewhere. It's kind of like decor in itself. Very functional and affordable. So I definitely think uh, these wire baskets are worth purchasing and hanging hanging up. That's how I would use them. You could, Like I said, you could use them in a drawer, but I definitely think it would be worth hanging up. If you have a pegboard, you can use these and hang them on your pegboard. Um, I chose the command hooks because I don't have a pegboard and I don't know how many people do, but Again, really functional uh, option and very little money. So, very excited about these. And again, I'll show you that holds all the stickles. And you can do them right side up or upside down, whatever your choice. But, very nice option. Okay. So, next up, I'm going to share, uh, we'll continue on the storage containers. These are the next storage containers I found. These are really nice quality. Um, I found them in the kitchen section. So what I would use these for um, are embellishments. So I actually um, get these containers from Michaels. They're a little, they're not, they're more than a dollar, but you get three pack for like, I don't know. I don't remember how much I spent. But if you're not close to a Michaels or you're tight on budget, you could get these same kind of containers. They're a little smaller, as you can see, but still, the purpose and the functionality are the same. So I actually have Alex drawers, and I just keep loose embellishments like this in these little containers in my drawer. They're accessible, they're pretty to look at, they're organized, and you get two of these for two of these for a dollar. How awesome is that? Put them all in your drawer, and I'll show you what my drawer looks like. I've shown it in a other video, but let me just share with you what I mean. So this is my drawer that is right by my desk. So I have all little containers open, as you can see, and I just have loose embellishments out. And it's a grab-and-go system, and I absolutely love it. I really enjoy opening these drawers and taking a look at everything in it and seeing what my options are. And so these containers give you the option to do that 
at a very low price point. So very, very affordable. And they're nice quality. They're heavy duty. You know, they're not gonna break easy or bend easy. They have these little rubber feet on them so they don't slide. Um, they're also good for pens. And these larger trees, I would probably use, I have something called my junk drawer or my miscellaneous drawer. I would take all my random packs of um, stickers and such or if, you know enamel stuff that I haven't filed that I just call it I just call it my junk drawer that I just go in and sift through when I'm creating a layout for bits and pieces odds and ends this is a perfect tray for that stuff perfect and you can just put it in a drawer and it's right there for the taking organized in a nice way so how nice is that it's awesome I really love these containers and it's a nice option um, for a great price point so again really really good buy <clears throat> so I just want I grabbed these because I just sh could show you the different sizes so you have this large tray size you have one that's like half size and then you have these little cups they'd make really great drawer organization containers definitely a win in my books okay next up are another type of tray. These are also in the kitchen section. These ones, in my opinion, aren't as nice, but they are clear. So some people like white, black, brown. Um, so I, I thought I would pick up a couple just to try these. These ones are clear. They're a little bigger and a little deeper than um, the white ones, but they are, they're pretty solid. I mean, they're not bad at all. They have these little linking side things, snap, I don't know how they work. I tried. These little snap things that, <laughs> I'm probably not saying the right term, but they sort of kind of lock together um, like so, which is interesting. I don't know if I would use them like that, but you can certainly do it. Uh, again, I would use these to organize my drawers or put buttons in, um, you know, your uh, brads. Um, they probably fit washi in there. Definitely the longer ones would. Um, again, I would most likely use them in some type of drawer to kind of, you know, segregate your products so they're easy to grab and go. And you have this one that's like uh, 12 inches long. You have these here um, that's more around the 10 inch length. Um, not a bad depth either. And then you have these smaller cup size ones. Um, really nice option to organize your product in a drawer at very little price point. And these were all the smaller containers. These were two for a dollar. And then these large ones were a dollar a piece. Again, 50 cents a cup. I mean, you can't beat that. And it and it looks really nice once it's in a in a drawer. And I love the fact that you can just take out the cup, put it on your desk, and use whatever embellishments you need and then put it back. So I I really like this style storage container. It's functional um, and affordable. So and these would look nice on a shelf too. Uh, if you didn't have any drawers, it would work. Uh, but my preferred, my personal preference would be to put these in a drawer. I really like the drawer system. So, and again, these are in the kitchen section. They are called Cooking Concepts Organizer Baskets. So, another great find. Okay. Next we have, let's see here. The Surefress. Sure, fresh. Gosh, I can't talk. Um, reusable mini containers. So you get 10 to a pack of these. And these little guys, I think, would be perfect. Let me open them up. I'm sure you, hopefully you saw that label. Sure, fresh. Um, for the sequence I just bought. So these little snap-on containers put the lid on and let's see let's open up a pack and see how how well it works 
So I was thinking they'd be a really great way to store the sequins I just bought, because Lord knows I'm not gonna be able to keep the sequins in these little packets. It's just, as soon as I open them, that's it. So I wanted to find a way to store the sequins. So what I was thinking was, put my little bag of sequins in there, snap on the lid, and I can store them upside down. That way I can see what color sequence it is. Um, and then I could or I could store them like this upside down or probably more so like this in the little tray and then there I go I have all my sequins available and ready for me to look at in a nice little organized manner for two dollars guys two dollars so we're just gonna go through and I'm gonna finish organizing the sequence just to show you the other option is you could store them right that up and you could label them if you wanted to but I think you're gonna get more bang for your buck if you were to organize them uh, on their side and plus you can see um, the color sequence they are and you can fit two side by side I think this is such a, a cute idea, affordable, again, very fun to look at because of the colors. You know, I like looking at product that uh, is appealing and pretty to look at, and this would be one of those items. Sequence is pretty, and uh, so why not make your organization functional and also pretty to look at right it's a win-win so there we go one last container we're almost there oops that purple is really pretty And there you have it. How perfect is that? Put it in a drawer and there is all your sequence. So I probably will need to get another package of these um, containers so they would all fit. All your sequence would fit beautifully in this cute little tray, easy to access easily see what colors you have and it's all contained in a nice tray and this whole storage system cost me two dollars guys and look how nice that is two dollars so you could take um <clears throat> you know if you don't want them side by side like that you could take the smaller ones and do one section just like that they fit nicely in there. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that's so nice to look at. And there's all my sequins, nice and organized. And goes right in a drawer, easy to access. There we go. So, another really cute organization idea. So I had to share that with you because that was something that came to me. Um, definitely worth, again, worth purchasing. Okay. So we covered those containers. Isn't this fun? Uh, I just love organizing, and especially when it's affordable. And I just think um, some of these ideas are just so clever and just affordable. And they look nice. Especially, well, scrapbook product in general is, um, a lot of it's very pretty to look at. So you should add it, make it as part of your decor for your room. Okay, so next we have, um, I found this cute little, it's called a magnetic um, holder. It 
goes in your locker. So there's a magnet strip right there. Um, I didn't really, the magnet strip really didn't appeal to me at all. I actually just like the size of it and figured these would work great for um, storing sticker sheets because they fit them perfectly. Uh, they fit this size uh, package perfectly and I figured you could put them on a shelf side by side if you wanted to or front or facing and they would contain them and it would allow you to have vertical storage. Now this is a plastic container it's not super sturdy but if you had a few of them in a row they would I mean this one's standing up fine um, by itself but it is a little flimsy so if you had them like on a bookshelf labeled all in a line. Uh, that way you could label the spine and see what kind of stickers you have. You have vertical storage, which is always a great option when you're tight on space. Um, and they're nicely contained and you can just pull one container out with the whatever stickers or embellishments you have uh, that you're looking for. So you could label like Christmas or birthday or pink or Halloween or whatever. You wanted an easy visual to see right what you have with a label and they're all nicely organized. So I thought this was a really great purchase. This little, it was a dollar and I found it in the school supplies section. So definitely worth it. So the next few items I found were also in like the school supplies section and there were a couple of different envelope systems um, that I thought could work for some people. Um, I personally don't, well I do use envelope systems, I use the 12 by 12 so these would be 8.5 by 11 so they're not going to fit like your 12 by 12 sheets of anything. However I did think that um, these would work well for embellishments or stickers. So this one's like an accordion style that kind of comes out at an angle. So I thought it would be kind of cute to maybe put packs of ephemera in because they fit nicely in there and you could organize them that way by color. Um, probably some alpha stickers as well, some of your bigger packages of alphas could fit in the back. So you could take one of these envelopes if you have a collection and put all one collection in one of these envelopes. Super cute. It buttons right up with this little clasp here and you're ready to go. I thought that was adorable and a functional storage. So you could put it in um, bins or buckets and have them all labeled so you know what envelope holds what. So I thought this was a really great option, very affordable, and it keeps things organized and neat and tidy. So again, this was in the, the school section. And as you can see, um, the green, the one in the, let me see here. You have your, your white clear pocket. Um, that's the tallest, and the rest of them are just slightly shorter from there on out. But these alphas fit in all of the envelopes. And that's a pretty big... Um, you know, these are, it's a pretty big size sticker sheet. So you could probably, these expand quite a bit too. So you could probably fit quite a bit in there. But I would do this maybe by theme or collection. That would probably be uh, how I would use this envelope system if it was something I was to use. And what would be nice, and I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a bit, is that if you use this for your ephemera pieces and then you can use one of these larger envelopes for your bigger pieces if you're somebody who likes to store your product by collection. So these, <coughs> excuse me, so these are just some very simple clear um, envelopes. They have a snap closure. So I believe these, uh, again, you could just put your, you know, ephemera pieces in there and you can store them like that. You can store them on a shelf, in a bin, beautiful, and they're clear so you can kind of see exactly what you have, which I love. I love me some clear packaging. Um, I don't, and look at that. 
they're just long enough to fit your six by 12. Well, I don't know if this is quite six by 12. Let's take a thicker, so your thicker sheets. Yep, look at that. So your thicker sheet is a little long, but if you fold the top, it fits in there beautifully. So look, I could keep a whole embellishment collection in here. How cute is that? And functional. And you get two for a dollar in these. Two for a dollar. I just think that's great. And let's just take it a step further. I got these bins or this bin in the at the Dollar Tree in this in the storage section, a pretty teal. You could take your envelopes of embellishments and you could file them right in your bin. So you can organize them that way and then you can go by collection and see what you want for embellishments. How functional is that? What a, I just think that's a really great idea. And you could fit a lot of those in this bucket. So it's just one idea on how to store these. You can put them in a drawer. Um, I just think for two for a dollar, you can see through and they're just, you know, you can, if you're traveling scrapbooker, you could, you know, pack one of these with a bunch of embellishments you want to take on the go and you're out the door. I think these are really functional. The other use for these envelopes could be, um, you could use them for your scraps. So I sort my scrap paper by color. So these are a really inexpensive way to store your scraps. And it's clear, so you could take all your scrap paper and toss it in here. All your yellows, all your pinks, all your blues, and you can put them in a bin, in a drawer, and they're easy to grab and you can thumb through. Um, actually, hold up, hold the show. You get three of these for a dollar, guys, not two, three. I just realized there are three of these envelopes in that pack. That's three for a dollar. And you just saw, I just tossed a couple of embellishment packs in there and it fit beautifully. So just think about how you can organize your stickers and embellishments in these envelopes. It's, it's fantastic, affordable, super cheap storage idea. So, or again, like I said, your scraps. So you can toss all your scrap papers in here and easily thumb through them. You can easily tell which package is red, orange, yellow, blue, green. And I don't know about you, but it's most of my scraps uh, are smaller than 12 by 12. But you know, if you have some pieces that are 12 inches, actually, hold on, let me check and see. Let me show you if 12 inches will fit. I didn't notice the dimensions on these. Look at that. So this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Your 12 inch long scraps will fit in this envelope. How exciting is that? Perfect for organizing your scraps or your embellishments. I think these are a super fabulous find. They're on the thin side, but if that's all you're using them for, that's all you need very excited about these clear envelopes definitely worth worth giving them a try to get yourself organized and again these cute smaller ones are really great too for your smaller stickers and alphas and embellishments then we have a bit more of a heavy duty envelope here it's 13 inches by 9 inches so again the same as the clear envelopes however these do expand a little on the wide side as you can see they have like this cloth piece in the middle and my thought process here was again you can fit all you know a bunch of embellishments in here to store if you don't have drawer space, um, you can easily see what's in there. They're a great grab and go system. Again, it won't fit your paper, but at least will fit your embellishments. And I don't know about you guys, but I hear a lot of people are just, they struggle with like, I just don't know how to organize and store my embellishments. I'm overwhelmed. 
These envelopes are awesome. You label them by collection or by theme and just toss everything in there. And then you can put them on a bin or a shelf and there they are or in a drawer and they're organized all in one place. They're easily accessible, easy to get through, and you can also grab and go. That's a lot of space in there. So I think this is a storage option for the win for sure. These would also, again, work really great for scraps. So if you want, if you're somebody that keeps your scraps and um, is finding a way, like, how do I put them or organize them in a way that I'll actually use them? This just might be the system for you because I found ever since that I transferred my scraps from a box to actual file folders, I use them way more often because they're easy to find and I can grab by color and it's definitely worth it. And sometimes all you need is that little piece for layering or a tag or whatnot. So these envelopes are where it's at. This single one was a dollar. So you had the clear ones that were three for a dollar and then you had this little more heavy duty envelope style for a dollar. Both are a really great purchase, that's for sure. So another great option. Okay, so I wanna go back to this bin real quick since um, I already introduced it. So this is a, uh, I don't know what size this is. Let me see here. This is an 11, about an 11 inch by seven inch bin and it um, kind of angles down, it narrows down at the bottom and winds at the top. I grabbed this because I thought this bin would be a superb filing system for Thickers. And let me just show you how many you can fit in. I don't even have all my thickers, but look at that. They do slide down if you can't fit them all in, but even still, look at that system right there. Thumb through. Easy organization right there. They fit beautifully. Thickers. And Lord knows we all have a lot of those. And you can label the front if you want, or they would just look nice sitting on a shelf just like that. So really great thicker storage. The other option um, for this bin was not only thickers, but your six by six paper pads. These also fit very nicely inside of these bin. Perfect size, on a shelf, easy to thumb through. I just, and they had really pretty colors. They had this teal, purple, pink. I was really hoping they had white, but they didn't have white. But you know what? You could get a can of spray paint, spray paint these white, and you wouldn't even know. So if that's kind of your thing, like I really like white furniture. If you guys haven't seen any of my craft room videos, I'm partial to it, but it's nice to have splashes of color too. So this bin was a dollar and it's very, very functional. So again, I was thinking um, six by six pads or thicker storage for this container. Very functional and quite large. And they, you know, it's 11 inches, so it should fit on a, on a bookshelf just nicely if that's all you have available to you. And then they also had these smaller, containers. Again, <clears throat> excuse me, I thought these would be good for embellishments, putting them in your drawer. So again, it's just another style, another option um, to fill with loose ephemera or buttons or brads or flare and put it in your drawer. And then it's in a cup and you just bring it over to your desk, set it down and it's all available to you. I use these kind of containers all the time and I, I just can't get enough of them. I think these ones were like two for a dollar for these little ones. So, really great finds at Dollar Tree. Storage bins that are affordable and they're, and they're nice. They're nice to look at, they're decent quality. So, definitely worth looking into. Okay, so next we have the Essentials Collapsible Storage Container. Now, I know you guys are like, uh, Jess, it's typically for a closet. Yes, that's probably what most people would buy it for. However, it makes a great um, thicker storage container as well. Let me show you. Ta-da! 
ta-da! So, I have quite a few thickers in this little drawer here. Look, thickers on their side. It's really cute to look at. Um, it's functional. I can still fit a few more in here. Now it is a little flimsy, but if it's just meant to contain um, your thickers, then it, that's all you need it for. It doesn't have to be super strong. Um, I put this on the shelf of a Calyx unit. It looked it looked great. It just sat in there nicely, and then I could just go over and I could just thumb through my thickers to see what I want very easily. Very easy to access. Uh, very easy to organize. This is another really great system. And again, it was a dollar. And they have like a taupe or this black and gray. Um, I just thought it was a really great option to store your thickers. Uh, so that's another, it all depends on your style, but I think these are kind of cute and pretty to look at. A little more uh, modern, I guess. Do you want to say that? But lots of room, very functional great option for your thickers. So again, that's the essentials. Uh, they're the low profile. So they're the eight and a half by 11 and a half uh, size drawers. All right. <clears throat> Next we have um, zipper pouches. So these are in the office section and they're clear pouches with a little zip closure. They have like a spotted pattern on one side and they're clear on the other. I thought again this would be a great option to store your ephemera, either loose or in packages. It's a smaller than the other envelopes, but sometimes that's all anybody ever needs. I like the fact that they're clear, so you can see what's in them. It's a zip closure. Look how nicely contained that is. And what I really love about them is that they have uh, little key ring holes. So let me just show you how much better it gets. <clears throat> so my thought process here behind these is you can take these, fill them, you know, by color, by collection, however you want to fill them, and you can make your own little embellishment booklet with all these different envelopes. You can create tags or you can just simply, what I would do, I would honestly probably file them by color because these envelopes are already colored. They have the whole, they have the whole rainbow, so you can't go wrong. Um, so I would file all my embellishments. You could do loose or you can do packages or you can do a combination of both by color. And then, once you have that all done, and you pop these little dots out here, you go and you buy some book rings, which are also in the office section. They come in a pack of six, so you buy some book rings. You open them up. And you stick them through the hole. And now you have just made yourself your very own embellishment, binder, album, pocket, storage. I don't really know what you call this. <laughs> um, binder system, I guess, without the cover. And let me get these all lined up. Ta-da! So you have your rings on the ends, and then you literally, 
can go through and flip through your different embellishments on this little binder ring. How easy is that? These little envelopes are a dollar a piece. Again, they're clear so you can see them, which I really like. And then you can keep adding. These rings are very large, so you could add and add and add and have all of your embellishments on this on these one rings in an, in an easy to look through book. How perfect is that system? And it doesn't take up a lot of space. Everything's contained. It's easy to find. It's a win-win-win, in my opinion. So another really fantastic option. I, um, again, you could put your loose ephemera in here or your loose embellishments, but my recommendation would be would probably to get some little baggies and put your different uh, ephemera in there before sticking them in there so they don't um, get stuck. But I guess it all depends because this is kind of like that staticky plastic. Um, but the loose ones, if you toss just your loose ephemera in here, it wouldn't be a problem either. Actually, let's test that theory out now that I'm talking about it. Well, let's just get a real live demo here. So here are your pockets. We're just going to do an embellishment kit here. I've already used my blue, but we're going to put some, some blue in the pink just for demonstration purposes. So I am going to just, I have the polka dotted side up. I would probably turn this to the clear side. Here, let's turn them around so you can see. Um, just so you could see it better. The polka dots are a little distracting, so I'd probably have those be the background. But we got some other loose pieces here and some other loose pieces. I'm going to zip it tight so nothing's going to fall out. And look at that. There's all my ephemera. Easy to see. I know what I have. And I can just go in, unzip it, and I can thumb through what I need right there. Easy to get to. How awesome is that system? Very easy, affordable. It's waterproof because it's plastic, so God forbid you spill anything, you're good to go. Your ephemera's not going to get damaged. You got plastic envelopes. How awesome is that? So, again, these are a dollar a piece, depending on however many you need, and then the rings you get six for a dollar. So, another great storage option. Very functional these again in a drawer you can hang them up if you have a place to hang your your stuff up in your in your room uh, another grab-and-go system because you guys know how much I love grab-and-go because I'm a traveling scrapbooker I go to a lot of crops so any filing system that allows me just to pick up and go and pack is is uh, a, a good one in my book so this is one of those systems so really really cute easy to look through idea look how I just can't get over that super fun and functional. So what I've done, and excuse me guys, I'm recovering from a cold, so I apologize for all the sniffling um, that I'm doing here. So I was still in the office section, so not only did they have those envelopes, but they also had these ones that I thought were a little more higher quality. They're clear, on both sides they have a zipper closure they hold a lot of embellishments in them again same idea I have loose embellishments in here I have all the pink all my pink embellishments in my pink zipper so it's color coordinated and look you could just same idea flip through and you can add a lot of these envelopes to the rings so you can really pack a lot of embellishments into this system it's another grab and go I think that's really cute, very functional, and very affordable. So, again, your book binding rings, your zipper pockets, and you have embellishment storage. How great is that? I think this is one of my favorite ideas. 
<laughs> and it isn't mine. Don't get me wrong. I didn't come up with this on my own. Um, I just, I had to test it out for myself because I saw it, um, I think on an, another YouTube channel and I was like, what a cute concept. And then I got home and I did it. I'm like, I absolutely love this idea. I was like, I have to share it. So there it is. And I, I just, it's a winner. I really like it. All right. So then we're still in the office section here and I, so I thought those zipper pouches were really cute. And then I was just like, what if we took this a step further and got a binder and tried out the binder filing system that some people do. So my stickles here, I got this cute little pink polka dot binder from uh, Dollar Tree. It's a uh, cardboard, so it's firm, firm. And then I have a zipper pouch and I bought some page protector sleeves, sheet protectors. You get 16 in a pack of a dollar. Now mind you, they're not very, very thick. However, they do their, do the job that I was looking to be done, which is I was thinking about how nice would it be to store um, your embellishment collections in a binder that's easy to get to and see. So what I was thinking was I take all my pink embellishments. Let's go back to my envelope here. So say this is like my pink folder. It's not even a collection. It's just my pink folder. And I'm going to take all my pink embellishments, ephemera, and put them in this little zipper pocket so I can see what's here in my loose package. And then I took the sleeves and I put my, my sticker, my thickers in it. So if I fit two in there just fine, I did have to fold over the top just so it would fit height wise. But if I had other sticker sheets, I could just keep adding to this binder, you know, add another sheet. And let's see here, I want to add a sticker sheet and I want to add some die cuts. Now I have everything, uh, every collection piece in a binder, right? So I put that there in a binder. It will go on a shelf. I can label the spine. So when it's on the shelf, I know exactly what I'm looking at. And there it sits. I think this is another affordable, really great option for your embellishments especially if you have no drawers and you have limited space. These binders are your standard like eight and a half, eleven 11 size binders and they will fit beautifully on a shelf. So you could have these all lined up, all labeled with, you know, or by color, right? You could get all the different colors and you know the pink binder has all your pink embellishments and thickers in it. Your green binder has all your green ones in it, so on and so forth. Or you can organize them by collection. The only thing that wouldn't fit in here is like 12 by 12 papers. However, you could take 12 by 12 albums that you do not use or, you know, because we might buy them and have spares. Let me show you what I mean. So if you wanted to, you could take a 12 by 12 album and you could take pocket pages and you could fit ephemera in here or you could take and I don't think I think these are all pocket pages but you could take your little zipper file and you could do the same thing you could put your your zipper pack in here and then you could use the 12 by 12 page protectors and you could put your 12 by 12 papers in here you can use another pocket for your thickers and these um, 12 by 12 albums are a lot thicker so you could fit a lot more embellishment collections in there however they are longer so if you don't have a shelf that can accommodate a 12 by 12 binder this may not work but it's a really just a, you know it's a different way to store your embellishments and 
So if you, again, if you don't, if you don't have bins or boxes, or you just don't, you, you just don't, you're not a bin box kind of person. You know, it's a different way to, to store. But I thought, since this video is all about Dollar Tree, I got all of these products at the Dollar Tree. And just look at how easy it is to flip through and see the product you have. Store it on a shelf, easy to get to, it's secure, good to know. It's, um, I mean, you could travel with this, I wouldn't recommend it, just because these page protectors are a little on the loose side, the flimsy side, and things, you know, fall out relatively easy. But if you're just storing it on a shelf, you know, um, it does its job. And again, how cute would it be to like have these all in rainbow colors on, on your shelf and all your embellishments be in there? I just think that would be so cute. And you just come in and you look through like a catalog. There's my thickers, there's my ephemera. I just, I don't know. I think it's a really cute idea. Um, and they have a lot of fun different binders and it's just another option to store your embellishments because honestly I mean paper has its own challenges but I think out of everything it is the hardest to store embellishments to find something that works for you so I really hope you know these ideas are you know letting some fires in your mind and, and getting you thinking about uh, how you could store and maybe one of these options would work for you but this binder system is kind of a cool idea so it might work for you And we're not done. I have more guys. Are you are you still with me? I hope you're hanging in there and enjoying this video. I tell you what, Dollar Tree is packed full of ideas and great supplies. So uh, we're gonna keep going. <clears throat> so next we have is this little plastic container. I'm sure you've seen these um, before, but I thought I would test it out. So it is a little, tw I think these are in the, I think I got this in the tools section, but um, it's just a container with a bunch of little sections in it, and it is a perfect washi organizer. Again, for a dollar. Um, and what I wanted to show you here, it's really great, so if you don't have a lot of washi or not a lot of space, you can buy these containers and they do stack nicely uh, on top of each other, so that's really nice. You can label them. The one thing that I noticed was if you have different size washi, and you can kind of see here, it's a little snug. I can still close the container, but as you can see, some of my tall uh, washi does cause the lid not to completely close. Not a deal breaker by any means. And if you're looking for a budget friendly way to store washi, especially in a color you know, in, in order by color, this is a, a really great option. Um, this center section here is, you could put a couple um, lengthwise here uh, as well, but the larger washies are snug, but the regular size washies fit beautifully in here. So this is another really great storage option. And it's a grab and go. So really great washi container. One dollar, they're stackable. You can organize by color, they're clear. You can see them. I mean, just really great, great container at a great price. So, washi option. All right, so next is, this was in the craft section. It is the craft square craft storage box. So I grabbed this because I thought it was cute. Um, it had a couple little, you know, removable dividers here to make smaller sections depending on what you needed to store. So my first thought was to take the
sequence that I bought here and instead of these little containers I could actually store the sequence in this little container because there's not a lot in there and it doesn't I mean it mixes a little bit so it's not completely secure um, and there's some glitter <laughs> that's going everywhere um, so I thought one it could make a good sequence storage container um, I honestly prefer now that I've just done this see um, you're getting full-fledged honest review here guys <laughs> trial and error in real time um, I prefer these little containers for the sequence. However, I was thinking you could use these cute little containers for your smaller um, wood veneer pieces or your buttons. And I'm trying to see if I have any little ones. So if you're the type of person that likes to organize their buttons and wood veneer you could um you know plop them in here in this little container sort them however you want it's perfect it's tiny it's got compartments and you can see through it and they had different colors but I thought it was a nice tiny little organizer depending on what you have you know your brads will fit in here um, Again, the sequence worked if <coughs> Excuse me. the sequence worked in here too if that's your if that's your jam. Um, it all depends, but I just thought that was a really great um, small container. Uh, to store stuff in so as you can see I fit buttons in here I fit sequins and it was a dollar and it was in the craft section great functional container probably could find a lot more uses for it but I thought I would share okay <clears throat> so next up we have containers some more containers um, these are teaching tree storage containers I really like the size of these um, these are 11 by 8 and so here's a clear one I was started to rip off the label um, the, they come in different colors clear blue I think red um, they have a clasp opening so I thought this was another great option for embellishments or you could do stamps if you collect stamps they're a really nice size um, what I used mine for or one of them anyway was actually for all my doilies I never found like a really good storage for my doilies they kind of just got tucked in everywhere but I was like you know what this little bin works perfectly because I can thumb through them. I can see what I have through the clear lid. I think it will work nice. And as I get more, I can just continue to add them in this container. I actually also pick it up, picked up, pick it, uh, picked up a couple of doily heart-shaped doily packs from Dollar Tree while I was there. I forgot to add these into my little section early on, but I thought these were cute. Um, you could add these to a layout. But I just tossed all my doilies in here and now they're in a container. I can put it on a shelf in a drawer. I can label the front here if I wanted to. They stack beautifully. Um, so I actually got three of them. As you can see, I have some embellishment stuff in here. But look, they stack so nicely. So you label the front or the side, put them on a shelf and nice compact functional storage these containers are awesome I really um, have to figure out exactly I got my doilies in one but I'm sure I could figure out how to use the other ones but uh, I just thought these are a really great buy dollar a piece um, 
and they, I love how they sit nicely together as well. And I actually really like that they're just basic square containers that, that stack nicely. They spoke to me. So another great find, you know, use it for your ephemera, your alphas. They're a little short to fit your thickers in. You could use it for photo storage, um, tape runners, all your tape rolls. Ooh, that's a good idea actually. No, I just thought about. I could put all my foam adhesive in here. Oh, that'd be great. And then I can grab and go when I'm off to scrapbooking. Look at that. Just came up with another idea. So uh, these are really multi multifunctional. Other, they're just great containers. So another great find by Dollar Tree or at Dollar Tree. All right. Last but not least are these storage bags you will find them like in the uh i don't closet section i'm not, I'm not where the clothes pins and socks are i guess um and these are the large size bags they're 15 by 15 and i'll show you one of them i bought a couple of packs actually these bags are great for lots of different things but i found them to be useful uh for scrapbooking and I will show you how in just a minute. So here is the bag. They're clear bags. They have a handle right here. They open up at top like this. If you can see that. Um, they store 12 by 12 product beautifully look at that with a little bit of room so I have four chipboard sticker sheets in here and I still have plenty of room so for those of you and I love that it has a handle <laughs> so for those of you who um, are wanting a way to store your kits your page kits your paper kits um, uh, cardstock, chipboard stickers um, in a contained way, these bags are really great. They keep the dust out, they hold a lot, they have handles, so if you have some sort of like hanging system maybe, you could use a command hook or something. Or you can easily set them up on a, on a shelf. But they're in a bag, they're contained, which is really nice, and you get three to a package. So really great value, a wonderful way to store your 12 by 12 product. Um, if you make, if you're like me and you make uh, DIY kits, so you mix your papers and embellishments together, this is a really great way to carry it. And then again, it's a grab and go kind of system, right? You just grab a pack and you're on your way. It's all nicely contained in a sturdy bag. And it's just, it's just another one of those products that wasn't intended for scrapbooking but look how well it works for storage so again these are the storage bags the large large size though so they're 15 by 15 a really great find and three bags per box okay so that's like 33 cents a bag amazing much cheaper than the envelopes that I get at Hobby Lobby which are I think $2.99 a piece for the cheaper ones and then $4.99 for the heavier duty ones now these are no by no means heavy duty like they're not firm but still for 33 cents a piece if you're looking for an inexpensive way to store your 12 by 12 products this is a really great option if you got shelf or a bin you, you put them in the bags, organize them however you want, and then you then you stand them up and file them or put them in a bin and you're good to go. It's a nice option uh, for grab and go storage. So that is my last item, guys. Um, I hope this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. It's not really a haul video, but I hope this Dollar Tree video with kind of going through all the products was 
you found helpful. Maybe it gave you some ideas, storage ideas, um, for when you know you have a, a bit of a tight budget or you're not sure what kind of storage system will work for you. Um, it's good to start out with something that maybe won't cost you a lot of money until you kind of figure out what kind of organizer or what organization works best for you to and, and how you scrapbook. So that's really, really important. So there's nothing worse than spending a lot of money on a storage system and then figuring out it doesn't work. So Dollar Tree is a really great way to, you know, kind of start with the concept and then if you decide, yeah, this is, you know, really works for me, you can stick with the Dollar Tree containers or you can upgrade to something a little more expensive. But I hope you found the product review helpful um, and the storage and organization ideas helpful as well. So leave a comment below if you have any questions or you want to see more videos like this. I really appreciate your feedback and I always like to know um, what you guys are looking for for content and videos. So, And I also want to say hi to all my new followers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And make sure you go and check me out on Facebook at Jessica Grace. Uh, and I am also on Instagram as well. I post a lot of... Uh, uh, products and layouts there too. So um, again, thank you so much for subscribing and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to everyone next time. Have a great day. Bye.